I came upon a Purple Martin project in the late 80s. We were looking for open areas because they require a certain amount of space in order to habitat. When I started working here, we just decided to spring for it out of our pocket. It's been here about 30 years. One of the neat things about the Purple Martins is going back into history, Native Americans would hollow out gourds for these birds and they would kind of have almost like a symbiotic relationship with humans because humans have had this relationship with Purple Martins for so long. The mother birds don't mind humans touching them. My favorite part about the Purple Martins is when you hold them and you can see how they grow from like when they were just born, when they were tiny little eggs, and when they were like just little babies and they, were, they didn't even have their eyes open yet, and now they're flying. Well, working with the Purple Martins, it's really, really fun to do, and we can learn about different types of birds, like how long they hatch, and we can also like conduct trials for maybe the future. We report to the Conservation Association, which is in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. And so we're in contact with those people and let them know some things we've discovered have, have been significant. The kinds of gourds that are successful, and there's many different kinds, nesting materials, predator guards, things like that that we experiment with. Hopefully the kids will take away, you know, just having that connection with nature and being a positive impact. <laughs>